joined by Sabrina Unescu. Sabrina, first off, appreciate you joining me. How are you feeling? How's the ankle? I'm good. Um, thank you for having me. But everything's going well just here in California and obviously enjoying time with my family and um, just rehabbing and getting back into things. What's been the toughest part of the rehab process? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of tough, you know, parts of the rehab process. Definitely not being there with my team able to play is probably the hardest part. And then, of course, just staying patient with an injury and um, kind of taking it day by day has been tough as well. But just been blessed to have great people around me and to start, you know, working out now and kind of getting back into my norm. I know you wanted to salvage as much of your rookie season as possible. What was that process like in terms of getting advice and finding the correct course of action for you? It was hard. Um, I've never really had like a season ending injury. And so it was hard. And especially with the season that we had being shortened and in a bubble, um, I think there was a lot of things that we had to consider with trying to rush back to play for a season like that instead of, you know, taking time rehabbing and coming back um, hopefully next year for a more regular season. So there was a lot of, you know, things that I had to kind of sort through people that I had to talk to that weren't in the bubble. And so it definitely took some time, but I'm just happy for kind of the advice that I was given um, and, and the steps that I had to take during this process. You know, in a normal year when a player's injured, you can rehab, but still be on the bench and cheering on your teammates and observing and learning during games under these unprecedented circumstances, how difficult was it? And what was it like trying to stay connected from afar? Yeah, it, it was different. I mean, especially with how many games that, you know, our team was playing every single week, you know, they were playing about three games a week. And so they were so busy doing, you know, their preparation and getting ready for games. I was doing rehab every single day and, you know, trying to stay connected. And so obviously was able to watch the games, was able to kind of give my input to the coaches and the players on what I saw. I was still in a lot of the team meetings, you know, they they'd call me in over Zoom or, or whatever it was that they were doing. So I was definitely still able to stay connected. Um, you know, under the circumstances of not being there. We know that it was unfortunately cut short, but what were your takeaways from the couple of games that you were able to play, Sabrina? Yeah, I mean, it was really fun. And obviously it was a little bit different just with the preparation um, beforehand. You know, we were all in quarantine for four months and then had to go into this bubble and play games really fast. And so obviously, you know, wasn't ideal for anyone. But I think just going there and playing and even just getting a taste of what it's like to play in the best league was awesome. And I love my team. I love the coaches. I love the ownership and everyone has treated me so great. And so I'm just so happy to be returning next year and healthy and, and starting a new season. What are your plans for this offseason? Um, they're still a little bit up in the air whether or not I'm going to go overseas or not. But as of now, I'm kind of just taking it one day at a time and just getting healthy and training and rehabbing and really doing everything that I can control. And so that's kind of been where my head's at right now, obviously here in the Bay Area, spending time with my family and um, definitely starting to work out again and starting to get into that routine that I normally have. Uh, you mentioned uh, spending time with your family. When you're not rehabbing, what else is uh, taking up your day? What is life like off the court for you? Um, you know, I'm usually just at home. I'll, I'll watch TV. Um, I'll do stuff. I'll do some business stuff. I'll read. Um, kind of most of my day is rehab and basketball. And I'll see family here and there, but, you know, not really spending too much time with friends um, that I haven't spent time with just because I'm still trying to practice social distancing and kind of just um, abide by the rules that we have just so all of this could end and then we could go back to normal life. But I've definitely seen some friends here and there gone out to dinner and just kind of laid low. Go back to the, uh, your team, your New York Liberty teammates, and from you watching from afar, you know, it was a difficult season for sure. A lot of learning experiences for so many young players on that roster. What were you able to observe? What did you notice from your team? They fought. I mean, obviously it was hard. You know, our whole team wasn't necessarily all there. I mean, people were hurt, people had COVID, people came in late and there's just so many um, kind of weird things that had happened during the year. And so, I mean, my hat's off to them for being able to stick it out in a bubble and, and just kind of fight through all the adversity that we had faced. And, you know, they worked hard and they grew throughout the entire season. Um, obviously it was a difficult season, but we just had, I think seven rookies. And a lot of the times there'd be four or five on the court at one time. And so I definitely think um, that's, you know, a testament to our coach for believing in us, but also just um, kind of shows the growth of this team and where it can go. You talk about your perseverance and fighting through adversity. Is there something that you, learned about yourself over the course of these last handful of months? 
I think just really appreciating everything. I mean, it can get taken away so easily. And, and I think there was just so many expectations and um, so many um, goals and dreams, you know, during this first year. And then a little injury like that can take it all away. And so I think just being very appreciative of everything that you're given, health, whatever it is, and then obviously doing the, the most with that. I think during this off season, I'm definitely going to focus more on my body, my health, my nutrition, and just everything that I can, can control to make sure that, you know, next season and moving forward through my career, I'm in the best shape uh, possible. And you, you watch a lot of basketball. Obviously, you're entrenched in the game. Are there other sports that you watch and enjoy? Yeah, I, I watch tennis. Um, I was watching tennis. Naomi Osaka um, was kind of the GOAT. And so I was able to kind of form a relationship with her a little bit. And so definitely watched her play. And um, obviously watching football, kind of watching everything on TV now, um, just because it's exciting that sports are, are returning and able to watch that. What's something you learned from a from a, another fellow fierce competitor like Naomi? Oh, I, I mean, just everything about her. But even when she's down and, and she's losing a set, whatever it is, she just stays composed and she kind of grinds away and then ends up winning. And so it, especially when everyone thinks, you know, she's not going to, um, you know, the, the player she's playing against gets super hyped, think they're going to win. And then she kind of just keeps chipping away, stays calm, composed, believes in herself and then comes in at the end and wins. So it was awesome to be able to watch her compete and um, do what she does. So many are looking forward to watching you compete for the Liberty next season. What are your expectations for the team when the next season does roll around? I mean, definitely high expectations. You know, I, I think it's going to be really fun, especially with, you know, having me having, you know, some games under my belt and the team having a season under the belt. I think we're going to come back a little bit more experienced and kind of know what to expect. I think a lot of us came in, you know, this first year having no idea what the league was going to be like and, um, straight out of college and then obviously not having a great preparation time during COVID and not knowing exactly, you know, what gyms we could get into, if we could lift, whatever. So I think this off season is going to be huge. And then I think, you know, whatever expectations we're going to set and goals we're going to set as a team is going to be a lot higher than it was last year. What's the best piece of advice you were, maybe not best, but one piece of advice that you were given in terms of staying patient through your own rehab process? Being where my feet are, I think that's what a lot of people have told me and just kind of take it one day at a time. You know, it, it's, it's really easy to try and look off, you know, into the future and am I going to be ready? Is it, am I going to get hurt again? You know, whatever the doubts that you might be thinking. But I think just kind of being present in the moment that I'm at and what I can do with today, whether it's rehab, whether it's rest, whether it's play basketball, um, I think that's really the best piece of advice that I've gotten right now. Yeah, something you love has been taken away from you for a short period of time. But that said, how much hungrier does it make you, you know, as far as wanting to get back out there on the court and compete? I mean, I'm ready. Um, I think a lot of people that know me know that. And I'm definitely going to come back better than I was. And so I'm definitely excited, you know, for that. Obviously, miss playing. Um, have never missed, you know, that many games ever in, in my career. And so I'm just excited to come back out there. Um, better than I was and kind of try and prove myself in this league. What is your message for the New York fan base? Uh, I mean, stick with us. You know, obviously it was a rough year, but um, I know we all believe, I hope, you know, you guys all believe in us. And I know that this is going to, you know, kind of turn around and it's going to uh, be a great season. It's going to be a, a great um, team moving forward. And so re really excited for that. Really excited to be a part of that and excited for you guys to be a part of that as well. Sabrina, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you guys.